This video is on how to create a part on Autodesk Inventor. To create a part, first open a new standard IPT file. From here, you'll have the sketch toolbar at the top left corner. This provides all the tools you need to create the basic sketch before you extrude. In Inventor, you create a sketch first and extrude to the third dimension based off from that sketch. We'll create alumin an aluminum one by one extrusion from this from this video. To create this extrusion, first create a square and then dimension the square to the specific dimensions you want. For this video we'll do one a one by one aluminum extrusion. Dimension each edge to one inch. And after you've done this, to center it around the origin, the center point of the screen, use more dimensions. Reference the center point to one of the edges and set it equal to 0 0.5. Now once again, there's two ways to do this. I can literally type in 0 0.5 or I can create a function. A function references an outside part and whenever the outside part moves, this, this dimension changes as well. For this one, I always want this origin to be at the midpoint of this segment. So I click on this dimension and divide that value by 2. For example, if I change this to 2 now, this would change to 1. It would always stay the same. Now do the same for the other side. And now you will have a box that is perfectly fully constrained. To see if a drawing is fully constrained, look at the bottom right side of the screen. It'll say fully constrained, and if it needs more dimensions, it'll specify how many more dimensions it will need. From here, you need to create a second box within this one. You can either create a rect another rectangle and dimension it, or you can use the offset feature, which is in the modify tab of this top toolbar. Click on it and then click on this edge. From here you can either push it in or push it out. We're going to push it in and then set that dimension for the wall thickness as 0 0.125. Now I can extrude this. To extrude this you either press E on your keyboard or you go to the model tab on the upper left and click extrude. Now you have the option of choosing the center or the edge. And since this is an aluminum extrusion, we choose the edge. From here, I once again have several options. I can extrude facing coming towards, going out, or make it symmetric. If you make it symmetric, it is useful because later, if you need to reference this plane at the center of the piece, it's easier to do so. It's also valuable to keep the origin point at the center of your piece. Thank you for watching.